If you didn't know already, one of my favorite things to do this time of year is to look at the dollar section at Target, and that is what we're gonna do today in a shop with me and a mini haul. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. We are heading over to Target of all places. I tend to do this about once a month and we hit up the dollar section because in the dollar section, it's exploding with Christmas stuff. I've already done a Dollar Tree holiday video. If you wanna go back and see that, I just posted it a few days ago, so it's not too late to check that out. And you wanna make sure you subscribe because next week we are starting the Purple Alphabet holiday gift guide, which means giveaways and a lot of them. So you're not gonna miss that. Make sure to hit subscribe. So let's jump on over to Target and check out what they have right now in the dollar section. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the decor as well as a lot of the stuff for kids because you guys know I love the stuff for kids. These little Christmas trees are just adorable. They come in so many different colors. They're the perfect for a desk or a dorm room or a little gift or a kid's room. I really like these. You could decorate them with the decorations from the Dollar Tree. They got these little sleds. I think these are adorable, but my favorite is the wooden one right here that has the plain wood. If you didn't like those other trees, you can find some of these that have some flocking on them and some really funky colors and they come in different sizes too. Of course you have to count down the days till Christmas. I found a, one of the snowman calendars where you can put the numbers right here on the snowman's belly. I guess that's what you would call it. There are some numbers that come with it too so you can do your own countdown. And this one was three dollars. They had some fun table decor that had some moving pieces to it like this Santa please stop here house and then also this Santa Claus with moving arms. I was actually surprised to see the quality of these Christmas cards. Last year they had some Christmas cards that weren't exactly the top quality but these were nice sets and at three dollars they had several different styles that you could choose from something that kind of fit everybody's personality i like this rainbow one kind of fell in love with these bowl sets this would be a perfect gift this one is the fox there's also a santa claus and i'm guessing there might be some more out there but for five dollars this is a perfect gift i think for a teacher or a neighbor I thought these would be a lot of fun to decorate or paint yourself or either have your kids do them. There was a Santa Claus, there was a snowman, and there was also a Christmas tree. And they're pretty large too, I'd say at least a foot, and they're $3 each. These were super cute. There was a Christmas tree and some stars, and they come in a little nesting set of two with a ribbon attached, which would be a great neighbor gift as well. And the set was only $3. There were some nail art kits that were kind of cute. They had some nail decals inside and a whole bunch of nail polish, and several different styles too. I actually think my favorite is probably the glitter one with the glitter nail polish. If you don't want the nail decals because they're not your style or the person that you're giving them to style, you can get them in a little three pack here in an ornament and this ornament set is $3 too. These little bottles of bevel bath are great for stocking stuffers if you have a, a young child or even a preteen. They now have some bathtub finger paints that come in really fun holiday kind of themes and these you can use in the bathtub and they work just as well as soap. On one shelf, I found these coloring books and they're called premium coloring books. They are pretty small and they have a whole bunch of coloring pages in it, but I wasn't impressed with the price. These are $3 each. There's several different styles, but I think you can get a better deal at Dollar Tree. They always have these Rudolph lip glosses and the tissue packs that are really fun to put inside a stocking because they come in these really cute patterns. I kind of like the gingerbread one the best. They also had some Christmas trees too. And here's a little peek at the holiday stickers that they have. I didn't see too many of them, which makes me think there could be more coming. I was a little amused at this snow chalk marker kit because we don't really get snow in San Diego. However, if you have snow by you, you might want to think about getting this. It's $3 and you can color your snow. These were a repeat from last year they are some fun snowballs they are basically giant pom-poms and you can throw them around as snowballs they're three dollars each they even have some slingshots so you can have a little snowball fight in your home I found the penguin and the Santa Claus these aren't new either they are playing card sets but I wanted to show them to you because they would make great stocking stuffers too old maid goldfish and a matchy memory game these are perfect to have on hand and they are great beginner games too and speaking of games, they had a whole set of different games that I haven't seen before. Village Elves looks kind of like a, I don't know, a Candyland-esque kind of game where you spin the spinner and you move the, your marker to the color. They had ski lifts and slopes, which was very similar to chutes and ladders, where you could slide down the slopes and try to make your way back up the mountain. There was also Holiday Sweets memory game that looked like it had a little candy box and inside you had cards that you had to match, similar to a traditional 
traditional memory game, and all of these games that I'm showing you are $3 each. There was also a Let It Snow Dominoes game that had a whole bunch of pictures and you play it just like traditional dominoes, but all of the pieces had pictures that were related to the holidays, plus they had a side where you could do the actual numbers. And one last game, Santa Search, which I believe is a memory game. Here are some fun erasers in all kinds of holiday themes. I think that they were really, really cute. They are $1 each for five erasers and they had different styles. These wooden figures, I'm not quite sure how you would use them, maybe with a block set or a dollhouse of some sort or decoration. They are really cute, kind of in love with the penguins. And of course you can't pass up the felt sets. There were some repeats from last year, some that were redesigned, and some that are new this year. We've seen the felt food before, and this is a steal. You can do all kinds of imaginative play with these, and a lot of speech development, and they are only $3 each. This one, the felt role play kit for the pizza, is a new one. It comes with the pizza, kind of a checkered mat, and some money, so you can actually play pizza store. I think this one is a good one and brilliant. And then this one is adorable too, which comes with a little x-ray, a medical kit, thermometer, and a shot just so you can play doctor. Adorable. This was probably one of the original ones that we have seen at Target. It was the felt taco and they're bringing it back now. If you want to make some ornaments, this was a really cute idea with some uh, thumbprint kits. It comes with everything you need to make a thumbprint ornament and you can make several of them for several members of your family. And then I also found this kit for a family tree, which I thought was a pretty interesting find. Here's a whole bunch of kind of arts and crafts decor items. I didn't go through every single item in this bin. Lots of washi tape some clothes pins. You usually see this every now and then at the dollar section, except this time they are all holiday themed and there were some pretty cute things in there, not to mention some very glittery washi tape. If you're into the ugly sweaters, there's a kit to make your own. I was kind of amazed at this. So it has a whole bunch of things inside so you can put them on your own sweater and decorate your own ugly sweater. I'm not 100% sure if this is actually a good deal, so you'll have to let me know if you've tried it out down below in the comments. These little science kits were popular last year. They are a pretty good deal. I believe they're only $3 each. This one is the polar ice one, and then they also had the one that makes the little gel balls, which are great for sensory bins. You can color your own stocking. This year they had several different designs. Each one of these stockings comes with its own set of markers so that you can color. However, I would probably advise of going to get some fabric markers or fabric paint from the craft store just so you have more variety. But they did have a lot of great styles too. There's the penguins again, gotta love them. Here is another countdown calendar. This one's in felt. I haven't seen this one before, so I think it's a new one this year. It's $3 and it has all of the pockets and you take the little gingerbread man that's attached and you move it along the calendar as you count down the days to Christmas. This baking set would make a great gift for a young child who loves baking, but it is $5. We usually see those little felt craft snow pellets that people use to put in their slime more recently or those plastic DIY ornament kits. Now these wooden sets are great for the toddlers in your life. I really do think these are a bargain. And check out these little kits that you can put your handprint in. It has the plaster and everything you need to make that. That would make a great grandparent gift. Melty Snowman, I'm not 100% sure on this. We had a Melty Witch around Halloween time and someone in the comments told me that it actually works. So you shape it and it's supposed to melt on its own, kind of similar to a slime compound. Very curious to see if you've tried this, let me know. I thought these were adorable. They are sculpt -a foam for $1. There are several different styles that you can play with. It's kind of a sensory kind of thing. And then don't forget the squishies. They have squishies in holiday themes of Santa Claus and Penguin. I'm sure there's more out there that I haven't seen. Those are $3 each. These magnetic tins come in really handy if you're traveling in a restaurant kit in an airplane for the holiday season. There was a knight's theme and a princess theme with tic-tac-toe and a scene that you can play out the pieces. The extra thick and fat notebooks were in stock. I found a fairy tale one, a castle one. They also had a couple of holiday themed ones. These are $3 each. You could probably find a better deal at Dollar Tree, but they are very, very good quality. The dollar section always has some holiday books around this time of year and they are board books. So if you have a toddler in your life, this is a great thing to put in their stocking. And if you're looking for something to put candy in for a teacher or a neighbor, they had some really cute tins and they are all a dollar and they're the perfect size for that neighbor gift. We've tried these before in a Target dollar section toy test. They are the shrink art kits and this time they are holiday themed. They come with the markers and everything you need to make your own shrinky dinks in the oven. They're a lot of fun and I highly recommend these kits. 
Let's move on to the wooden gift sets. These are wooden toys and they're boxed and these are ready to go at $3 each. There was the pizza one, there was the hamburger one, there was the one that had a whole bunch of different fruits in it. You can complement these with a block set that you already have, but I really do like these. They also had a couple of peg puzzles at $3 each too. This advent calendar is a repeat from last year where every day you can have a page of activities to do, but I think it might've been a little bit pricey for what it was. I really do like this stationery set. I think it's super cute. It comes with a whole bunch of stationery supplies in it and a box for $5. It's just adorable. Check out these pillows, but what I really wanna show you are these felt kits. This is the gingerbread house kit. It's similar to ones that you might see at Michael's and I think the price is pretty good at $3. I also did see a penguin one. I've showed these before in a dollar section shop with me and they're back and they're fully stocked. So if you haven't gotten any, you might wanna go check them out. They are story blocks and cubes that you roll to tell some stories. It just sparks the imagination. $3 each for these kits. And here are all the lacing kits for this year. Some really fun sets. They come in these wooden boxes, which I think is great for the price. A whole bunch of strings so you can do some lacing. And this is perfect for fine motor. And I always love these. These are little wooden vehicles. They're a dollar each. They come in so many different styles and shapes that you're gonna wanna buy them all. And these also go very, very well with a wooden block set. If you live in a cold climate, you might wanna try some of these earmuffs. I thought they were so, so cute. They're $3 each, they are for kids, and they had a couple of different styles, both for boys and girls and some unisex ones. And they also had some fleeced blankets, which were a little bit more, I think they were like $10 each. I saw a shark in my store. It was super, super soft. These felt play mats are a good find too. They had these last year in a different style, but they unfold and you can have a whole play scene for $3. I highly recommend them. And of course, they always have the holiday erasers. Here are the couple styles that I found. And I did mention in my Dollar Tree that they had a tray that had the pictures that would be perfect for matching these erasers. Another stocking stuffer find, the play foam, comes in so many different colors. And really this little size is just perfect to start a starter kit of play foam. What in the world are these? I had no idea until I read the label. They are giant erasers in several different styles. They're $3 each though, which might be a little bit much for an eraser. I adore these figurine kits. I think these are amazing. They are generous size figurines at $3 each that come with the paint and the paintbrush. They are fun. And how adorable is the Santa letter box? It comes with a whole checklist of letters and the mailbox. So if you're a teacher, this would be so much fun to set up. Or if you're doing some sort of Santa workshop, it would be a lot of fun to write your letter to Santa and put it in this mailbox. Here's a whole bunch of make your own stocking kits in several different themes. The Grinch, Frosty the Snowman, and there was a Minnie Mouse one. If you you see the holiday pillows and you like them in the dollar section you're going to want to snag them because these always go first and believe me they had some really really cute ones here are the paint your own ornament sets they come with ceramic ornaments a little string to hang them up on the paints and a paintbrush and usually they have several different styles and these are only a dollar each if you have an lol fan at your house they have some kits there too for three dollars this one was a secret message jewelry piece and they also had a lip gloss kit. I turned the corner and found some more of those wooden block sets which are perfect for toddlers. This is one I haven't seen before where you actually put the shape inside. Adorable, it's $5 and then they brought back the usual ABC block one and then the different shape one that I already showed you. These are not new but some different styles. They are just wooden ornament hanging plaque kits I guess in several different styles that you can paint your own. So if you want a really easy craft to do, these would be a good find. I especially like that penguin that keeps popping up. These are little ball poppers. They had the reindeer and the snowman and the Santa Claus. It's a perfect thing to annoy parents, so just be forewarned, but they are super cute. I really like this set. It looks like an ornament, but inside are building blocks with block tape. And for $3, you get a full set and you can make some pretty amazing creations. But what's great is they had different colors that you could pick from so you can mix and match or get all of them for $3 a piece. That's pretty good. Here's the selection of headbands this year. There's a Christmas tree, a huge bow, and then I especially loved the gift one. And then of course, some great stocking stuffers of fluffy putty. This is the snowman one. And let's not forget the rainbow droppings bubble putty. 
Now that you've seen some of the great things you have, here is what I actually bought. So like I said, I think the targets are still out rolling a whole bunch of things. And if I see some good things along the way in the next few weeks, I'm definitely gonna let you know, probably do another shop with me. Here are the things that I picked up. I thought these were adorable. I mean, I haven't seen them before and I thought they were so cute. So they are those wind up toys, you know, the ones that you just wind up and they kind of hop along the edge. But these are paint your own. I couldn't believe it. I've never seen anything like this. This one's Santa, this one's paint penguin that comes with the paints and the paintbrush. This is only a dollar. What a cute little gift. I think it's adorable. So I got one of each. Cute little stocking stuffers that I thought I would try. These are called surprise toys. They are kind of like, they look like they could be paper mache. I'm not quite sure, but you're supposed to unwrap them inside or some surprise toys. I don't know what the toys are, but they are $3 each. So it's a dollar. I'm a little ball, but they're just festive and I want to try them out. They had two different styles in my store, so I got one of each and I wonder what's inside. Have any of you all opened these yet? Let me know down below in the comments because I think I need to know. It's a mystery. We are Charlie Brown fans in our house and I thought this was so cute. It's a Peanuts puzzle, 24 pieces, smaller pieces, and um, we just like puzzles. So for $1, we got a Charlie Brown puzzle. This lip balm set was super, super cute. And if I know anything from past Shop With Me's and hauls, these little sets go quick. They are perfect little gifts or Secret Santa gifts. It's $3 for the set. And inside, there are five different lip balms of all different flavors. And I love that they're in cute little holiday containers. These are new to me. They are called Jelly Balloon Balls. So they kind of remind me of the Wubbles, you know what I'm talking about, where you blow them up and they kind of bounce around and made out of a really thin kind of plastic. So this one has like three eyes and a smiley face kind of monster look. This one is a kitty cat. They had several other different styles, um, emoji kind of things. And I thought we'd try them out to see if they actually work. They are a dollar. I also found the building block tube sets. This is very similar to one that I showed you recently. They're great for restaurant kits, except they are not the same shape. So I need you to realize that they're not the same shape. These are more of a hashtag where the other ones were like two plus signs put together. So they probably won't work together. I'm not 100% sure on that. However, you can get this little tube uh, for a dollar. I found two colors in the Christmas colors and this one kind of in a mixed different color set. Perfect for restaurant kits, you guys. I love these. We had so much fun with these just last night. But I gotta tell you, these go fast. If you find them, make sure to pick them up. I'm also a huge fan of these stacking crayons for the restaurant kits. This one comes with a set of two, so it's perfect for my house, and only a dollar for both of them. And you just basically can move up the little, uh, these are like bears, on top of each other, and then you can get the new color. They also had stars, and sometimes they have hearts. Actually, I think they might be penguins. Are they penguins? I think they might be penguins or bears. There's some kind of animal. <laughs> I'm not too sure at this point. They could be both, but I really think these are a lot of fun. And these are good also for stockings too. And of course, if you are searching for something, you have got to let me know down below in the comments. I love to hear what you guys are looking for. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the holiday giveaway next week and the week after that. Not going to miss that. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.